If you have neck and back pain, what do you think is the best sleeping position for you that will give you the right amount of quality sleep to promote your health, including the health of your spine? The position that you are in at night is very important because the wrong position can make your pain worse. In this video, you will know about the worst sleeping position that you need to avoid, especially if you already have back and neck pain. Greetings again to everyone. This is again Doc Cherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy. If you're new here in my channel, I would like to personally welcome you. Please don't forget to click the like button if you find health topics like this helpful. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe and the bell button below so you will receive weekly health videos that will benefit our beloved seniors, you and your loved ones. Your spine has four natural curvatures. If you want to wake up in the morning without any body pain, your goal is to maintain the neutral position of your spine. The worst sleeping position that you can do is sleeping on your stomach. When you sleep in your stomach, all of your body weight is concentrated only in the middle part of your body, which is your abdominals. You will notice that your stomach will sag in the mattress. At the same time, there will be a lurch in your lower back. Plus, if you are going to sleep in your stomach, you are more likely to rotate your head on one side. As you can see, this is not already the natural or the neutral position of your cervical spine. And that's the reason why static positioning with your head tilted on one side will give you neck pain when you wake up in the morning. So if you are currently sleeping in your stomach, be sure to correct your sleeping posture to prevent low back pain and neck pain. If you have neck pain, the best sleeping position for you is sleeping on your back. Also, check your pillow. If your head sinks in your pillow, that means that your pillow is too soft and that is not good for you. Also, check the level of your pillow. It should promote natural or normal alignment within your spine. If your pillow is too soft, there is a tendency that your neck will be in cervical extension like this. You will end up having muscle spasm in your neck. But if your pillow is too high, what you will promote is prolonged cervical flexion like this, which will also give you muscle spasm in the back part of your neck. That's the reason why when you wake up in the morning, your neck feels sore as well as your upper back muscles. If you have extra money to spare, it will be good to purchase a memory foam or an orthopedic pillow because it can well support the weight of your head plus it can conform to the natural curvature of your cervical spine. If you are currently suffering from low back pain, do you know that your mattress can also be a contributing factor to this? Check the age of your mattress. Usually, a good mattress will last you at least 8 to 10 years. But if you already have sagging mattress, it is high time for you to buy a new one so that it can support the weight of your lumbar spine. If you have low back pain, which could be muscular or it could also be due to osteoarthritis, which is relatively common if you are already between 4 to 60 years old, or if you have low back pain caused by this herniation, your goal is not to have a soft mattress but look for something that is medium firm. This is the best mattress for you because it would evenly distribute the load of your spine. The best sleeping position for you if you have low back pain is sleeping on your back. You can do this also by putting pillows underneath your knees. This way, you will promote the alignment between your spine and your pelvis. But if you find it difficult to sleep on your back because you have breathing difficulties such as sleep apnea or you have snoring problems, your next possible option is sleeping on your side. If you choose to sleep on your side, what you can do is you can put a pillow in between your knee. This will also promote the neutral position of your spine. 
However, let me remind you, if you would be slipping on your side, you need to avoid slipping on your one shoulder with your hand elevated like this because this will lead to pins and needle sensation when you wake up in the morning. We have nerves here that you can compress if you will assume this position. If you find this video so far helpful, please don't forget to click the like button because we will now proceed with our discussion to the best sleeping position if you have sciatica or if you have scoliosis. If you have sciatica caused usually by a herniated disc, by the way, sciatica is a condition in which you have low back pain but you also feel the numbness and tingling sensation at the back part of your buttocks, your knee, and the back part of your lower leg because this is the pathway to your sciatic nerve. This is usually caused by an inflammation or irritation to your nerve. The best sleeping position for you if you have sciatica is sleeping on your back. You can put the pillow between your knee and one other thing that you can do is you can insert or put a small pillow at the back part of the lower arch of your back. This will keep your spine and the disc between your spine in neutral position while you sleep, preventing further irritation to your sciatic nerve. If you think that you're suffering from sciatica, I have a video that might help you. If you want to know more about home strategies on how to treat sciatica, you can click on this video here. Most of my patients would also ask me what is the best sleeping position if you had been diagnosed with scoliosis. Scoliosis is a condition wherein you have an abnormal curvature of your spine. Whether you have levo or dextroscoliosis or whether you are or not wearing a brace, the best position for you is sleeping on your back. But your next possible option is sleeping on your side. If you do this, you can still put the pillow between your knees, but this time you can also opt to put a pillow at your back to avoid any twisting motions. If you have a topper at home, make sure that it is not above 3 inches. The wrong sleeping position will not actually really aggravate your scoliosis, but the correct sleeping posture can help relieve the back discomfort. The best sleeping position for most spinal conditions would be sleeping on your back. Your next option would be sleeping on your side plus the tips that I have talked to you about. The worst sleeping position that you should avoid would be sleeping on your stomach. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you find this video helpful. Please do your friends and family some favor by sharing this video to them. This is again Doc Cherry. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. God bless you.